The domain name finder will help you quickly and easily find brandable domain names for your business. Using built-in word lists, you can easily create and check hundreds of names and it currently supports four different TLDs. The first check is the fastest and can be as accurate as 90%. Once you have a list of domains, you can go through them and use the more accurate check who is function at the bottom. The who is function is much more accurate and will allow you to see which domains are likely available without leaving the software. When a domain is available, a link will appear and you can click on it to open up a registrar such as Namecheap in your default browser. This can easily be edited to open other registrars and to use affiliate links as well. Let's take a more in-depth look. I actually found this particular domain, which I think is pretty cool, earlier using this software. So what you need to do is just put in a keyword up here or you can load your keywords from a file or from a clipboard if you want. And then what you can do is you can add different word lists. So what I did to find this one is I just added some suffixes and some appends and I added them to after. And then some prefixes and some prepends, I put those before. So I'm just going to do that. And as you can see, there's already 200 different keywords that we could check across four different TLDs. I'm just going to choose .com for now. Uh, set the threads to be 10. Of course, you can set that to be whatever you like. And this is what I call the fast check. So what this is going to do is it's going to go through and basically it's going to see if there's uh, if the DNS is available. So if, if the uh, domain name is basically connected to an IP address. And so what that does is it allows us to check really quickly and still be pretty accurate. So for example, um, you know, on, on this list of 123, um, there might be like 10 or 20 different domains that are actually registered and they're just not hooked up to anything. You know, like for example, if their hosting expired or something like that. But what we can do is we can go through here and sort of just see what we like and then throw it down here into the check who is function. And that's still pretty quick without really leaving the software. And like I said, I actually found this backlinklab.com, which I think is a pretty awesome name earlier pretty quickly just by um, just by doing something like this. You can just sort of scan through and see what you like. Um, that was my favorite, but I can just go through here and see like Backlink Studio, that's alright. Oh, you know what, I accidentally put Backlinks this time instead of Backlink. <laughs> so I'm actually getting different results, but here's one that I like, Backlinks Inc. And we can check that, and then while we're checking that, we can kind of continue looking. Uh, backlinks place. That one's not bad. It looks like Backlinks Inc. is already taken. Um, oh, where was I? Backlinks place. That one's not bad. And just keep going through here and I'm sure we'll find something. And it looks like Backlinks Place is available, so I can just click on that. And the way to know 100% sure is to check with a registrar. So as you can see, this is available. They have the most up-to-date lists. Um, I hope you can see that, actually. 
Um, okay, it looks like you can see that. They have the most up-to-date lists. And so that's pretty much it. Um, adding your own lists in is super simple. Um, there's already some good lists here. If I wanted to change this list real quick, I can show you a different one. So the, uh, these lists were already kind of curated. I just, I did some lots of searching and, uh, figured out which ones would be most popular. Like, uh, as you can see here, web, net, art, tech, cloud, shop, home. These are all pretty popular, um, in the web world. And then there's some other ones that I just thought would be good as well, but adding in your own list is super simple. And um, also adding in more TLDs. I'm starting with four. And the reason being is the check who is down here. It supports these and it supports some other ones, but the other ones are like weird ones like dot name and stuff. But if people want specific ones, it can probably be done as well. And so, yeah, that is about it for the domain name finder.